Hello guys, my name is Marx. Today I'm gonna teach you how to put a 3D model from Google Maps to Blender and augmented reality using Arlupa. First thing I need to say is that my English is not pretty good, so go easy on me. And I hope you learned something from this tutorial and I will be happy to teach you how to do it. Let's go! The first thing you need to do is to open your Chrome and go to Render Dock. So you're gonna enter on this website and you're gonna click here on Nicely Builds. Here you're gonna see every single version from this add-on that you're gonna use to create your 3D model from Google Chrome. So the version that I'm gonna use that works for me is V1.13, okay? So let's gonna start. The first thing you need to do is click here and I'm not gonna download that again because I have on my computer that's what you're gonna see here and you're gonna click on install and you're gonna go to the whole process I'm I'm not gonna do that again so after that after you restart on your computer you're gonna open the render dock so the first thing you need to do now is to close your Chrome and make sure that there is no process on task manage from Google Chrome. I'm gonna search for any process here and as you can see is a lot of process of Google Chrome and I'm gonna close every single one. So I'm gonna close my Chrome and I will delete all the process. Now as you can see there is no process from Chrome running on my computer. So before you start Chrome again you need to click on your shortcut from Chrome and go to properties and copy and paste this code that I will put on the description from the video. So as you can see my Chrome is in C program files Google Chrome application. If your Chrome on, is on 32 program files you need to change this part of the code and put here 64 okay so let's continue for me it's on C program file so I just have to click copy and paste this code right here okay I will let this on the description from the video for you copy and paste after you do that, you can start your Chrome. When you start your Chrome, this right screen is gonna show up, so you don't have to click on OK. If you click here on the Chrome, you're gonna see is another window open, and this window say for you a PID that you're gonna need on the Render Dock. So you just have to see this number right here, 1336. So you're gonna open your render docs and you're gonna come on file, inject into process. And you're gonna come here and type that number, okay? Look again, the number, it's 1336. So you're gonna have to come here one three three six and click two times with your left button when you click nothing nothing happened so you gonna have to come back again and cl click ok when you click ok you're gonna see that your chrome is open here with this number on the top corner so if this number don't show up, 
you need to do again. You're gonna have to close all the process in the task menu for this to work. So I'm gonna click here and search for Google Earth. Google Earth. As you can see, here is the website earth.google.com slash web slash. After you come here, you just need to search for the 3D model that you want. I'm already on my 3D model that I want, but I will search it together with you. I'm gonna click here and put by front avenue Marina Bay Sands. This is the one, okay? So when you open the Google Earth for the first time, you're gonna see all the names of the streets and everything else. You're gonna click here to close. And you're gonna come here on the street bars. Come here on styles of the map. And you're gonna choose here. Probably it's gonna be this way. You just have to click in clean. After that, you're gonna close this. And you have to capture your data. So you're gonna come on render dock and click here capture your frame immediately so now I will teach you some type for you to capture your data you just have to click on 3d right here and after that you just have to wait the camera goes 360 degrees from your model the process is too slow, but you have to wait for capture as much data as you can. After that, you're gonna see your result on Blender. Let's wait for the 360 degrees from my camera and see what we got. As you can see here, the Chrome has captured 25 megabytes from data. So, let's open Blender and keep doing. Now, I'm gonna close this and click here and import and Google Maps capture. After that, you just need to search where you save it, your data. I save my data on Marina Bay. Okay. How can I save it? You just have to click here with your right button and click save and choose Marina Bay 2. Okay. You're gonna minimize this and Let's put a refresh here. As you can see, my data is already here. I'm gonna click and wait for the result. As you can see, the time is slow, but now I have my result. As you can see, I will click on the texture model. And here we are. Our 3D model is really, really good and I have as much data as I can for my augmented reality model and now I'm gonna teach you how to put this one on augmented reality with Arlupa first thing we need to do is ex export this model I'm gonna click here on file export GLB I will put on the same file with our 3D data from Google Earth. So I'm gonna save it with the name Marina Bay Doc GLB and export. As you can see, already saved. I'm gonna open the, the file just for us to see the result. As you can see, my model is here. I'm gonna open. And here we are. Our 3D model works really fine. And that's enough for us. 
So let's open Google Chrome and let's go to Arlupa Studio. I'm already logged with my account. You need to log with your account. Click here and create a new experience. And first thing first, you need a 3D image from preview image. So you need a picture from your preview. The first thing you need is a preview image for your model. I'm gonna click here and capture this image with Google Capture Tool and save it in the same folder. I'm gonna come here and put the name preview. Okay, I'm gonna close that and I'm gonna come here and choose Mathless, next, GLB file, next, preview image and choose the one that I create now with you, preview, and put the name Marina Bay Hotel, and choose the file. The file is already here. Next, as you can see, my data is really, really good. And here you can customize your data. You can scale, rotate, anything you want. I don't need to do anything. If you want to add the more assets, you can do that. I'm just gonna click in public. After that, you just have to need. After that, you're gonna see my result with my iPhone 11. In my desk, I will show you my result. Hello guys, I am back. As you can see, our 3D model works really good. He is on the top of my desk. And you can do whatever you want. You can rotate your camera. As you can see, we capture as much data as we can. High level of detail. And that's it guys. I hope that you learned something from me and I'll see you later on the next tutorial.